Good morning, everybody. Hey, it's Seth from Good Morning Radio. You know, it's the morning show from your very favorite radio program of all time, Good Morning Radio on Spirit FM. How you doing? So, uh, it came to my attention over the last few days that apparently there's some kind of big sporting event happening in Tampa tomorrow. Yay, sports! And uh, being in, from, I grew up in that area. I grew up in Lakeland, which is about a half an hour away from Tampa, depending on the traffic, a half hour, three days, whatever. Uh, but I grew up there, and one of the things I really miss from the Tampa area is Cuban food. I love good Cuban food. And there is, just coincidentally, just down the street from the stadium where the game is going to be played tomorrow, there is a restaurant called La Terracita. You, you ought to check it out. It's the best Cuban food in the world. So I thought, you know what? The big game, food, they kind of go hand in hand, Tampa, Cuban food. So I thought I would do something uh, to honor that area, to, to kind of say hi to Tampa. But if you were listening to the show the last couple days, Jess is insistent that we eat healthy on Sunday for the big game, that we, uh, we try and cut back from all the wings and everything. So I thought I would make a salad, a salad <clears throat> for the game. And so I thought I'd walk you through. This is a really good Cuban salad. It's delicious. And so I thought, I thought I'd share it with you. All right, so first of all, when you get started, it's very, very important that you have the right utensils, let's say the right bowl for making a salad. And this one is my favorite. This, uh, this is my favorite bowl for a salad. So right. somebody uh, messaged, where's your chef hat? I don't, I don't have it. I don't, why? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, don't have a chef's hat. Hides my forehead. Anyway, so you want to use this really good quality salad bowl right here. Okay, this is the one you're going to want to use. Now to get started, you want, you want to have a lot of flavor in your salad. So I take and chop up an entire sweet onion. This is a Vidalia onion. Put it all in there. This may be a little more than I normally do, but, you know, this is going to feed a lot of people. This is a big, big salad. All right, so you got all the onion in there. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is put in a little fresh garlic. Now, you... Garlic? Could... Wait a minute. Garlic and salad? Yeah. Yeah, it adds a uh, really good flavor. Salad. It, this is a salad. All right, so this is fresh chopped garlic. This is about mm, four, maybe five good-sized cloves of fresh garlic. Now, you can use as much garlic as you want. You can use as much garlic as you want. I like to use enough garlic that will keep vampires away, but not so much that it keeps the wife away, <laughs> if, you, if you know what I'm saying. All right. So now that you've got that in there, the next thing to do is add about a cup and a half of really good chicken stock. All right? Wait, wait chicken stock in a salad? I thought yeah. you were making a salad. I am making a salad. This is... Who puts chicken stock in salad? I do. Oh, Vicky says she loves garlic. She yeah. rarely cooks without it. Yeah, garlic is a wonderful... Now, you could get the, the liquid out of a box, or you could boil down and make your own chicken stock. I use this. It's called Better Than Bouillon. It is amazing. It adds really good flavor. So I use this. You don't want to put about a... You gotta be precise with all these measurements. Cup and a half, something. <laughs> Max says, good morning, spirit family. Hey, how you doing, brother? All right, so that takes care of that. Now, the next thing is, you wanna make sure you use the right <clears throat> lettuce. Right? Lettuce. You're making a salad. Making a you salad. Want to use the right kind of lettuce. Some people like iceberg. Some people like a romaine lettuce. Some people like that weird colored ridiculous lettuce. Uh, I prefer a very different style of lettuce for this recipe. It's called Boston butt lettuce. <laughs> Boston butt but. lettuce. There's no such thing as Boston this, butt <laughs> This is a head of Boston butt lettuce, and it is, uh, it's the best for this particular recipe. Now, like I said, if you want to use uh, romaine or something else, green, whatever, go right ahead. So this, fat down, 
and and you can have your butcher, I mean your produce manager, trim down the fat, the crown off of the Boston butt lettuce, if you want. I like to have a good crown on here because it makes the 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 juices <laughs> yummy. All right, so you put that fat down. Juices in a salad. Yeah. What? I don't understand. Salad. Okay, so now you're almost ready to go, but there's a couple more things that you need. <clears throat> this is the best salad dressing <laughs> that, that you can use, but this has got a lot of flavor. I mean, this is packed with flavor, so you want to use, you want to be careful now, there's all the, all the spices and stuff get stuck on the bottom, so you want to shake it up, and when you got greasy hands, you're going to fling it somewhere. So shake it up, but be very careful with this, okay, because there is a lot of flavor in here. You want to be very, very precise with the measurement of this. You only use... Max is asking, what on earth? Huh? What on earth? Now be very careful. You want to be very precise and only use the entire bottle of... Really good. A salad doesn't salad have dressing. meat, Vicky says. Only a chef salad has meat pieces. Well, I don't. I don't know. What well, you are about. a chef, so. I, I'm not a chef. Okay, I'm a cook. I throw my towel over my shoulder, not tuck it in the belt where it's all fancy. Anyway, okay, and then. Adam says that's it. I'm coming to your house for the game. Come on. <laughs> uh, okay, so then the next thing is this is uh, adobo. Salad seasoning. <clears throat> okay? You put a little of this. Again, be very careful. These, <clears throat> these seasonings and so forth have got a lot of flavor in them, so just be very delicate with the way you apply this. Okay? Very, very delicate. You don't want to get it too crazy with it because there's a lot of flavor in there. Okay. Then, all you do is you want this to... Um, stay in this salad container for about eight hours. Eight hours. And this is a very special salad container. It keeps the salad from running away. So you just uh, put it in there and uh, pick eight hours. And uh, there you go. It's a great salad for the game. Now, your house is going to smell amazing in just a couple hours, and it's going to smell like that all day long. So uh, be ready for that. So any questions uh, about how to make an incredibly delicious <clears throat> but salad I, for the big game? But you said you were making a salad with lettuce, green lettuce, oh. not a you want a not a Boston butt <clears throat> Boston butt lettuce. Yeah, I don't want Boston butt lettuce. I want there you go. That's, that's one a salad incredibly one. super. Salad bowl right there. All right, that's it. Enjoy. <laughs>